Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lord Jesus. We greet the beloved church with the peace of the Lord. Invite those who can to stand up so that we may proceed to the reading of the word of the Lord. The Lord has already manifested in a great way during the period of praises. Surely the Lord has cured, delivered, has removed the sadness and anguish from uh, the hearts and pre preoccupations. Because the whole, when the church prays the Lord, the angels of the Lord make themselves present as well. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let's open up the Bible of the Lord in Exodus. The second book in the Bible, Exodus 13, verse 17, verse 17 and 18. Exodus, Exodus 13. Chapter 13, verse 17 and 18. <coughs> so says the word of the Lord. When Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though that was shorter. For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. So God let them so God led the people around by the desert road toward the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of Egypt ready for battle. Up until then, you may be seated. My brethren, the word of the Lord is not just about any book. It was a book that was written by men, but was inspired by God, because the word, the Bible, is the word of God. Is the living word. That tells us stories. But those are not stories. Human stories. Those are stories. They narrate events that were already designed in a project from eternity. When God speaks with Abraham and says, Abraham, get out of your home, the land where from your parents, and I will show you a land where flows honey and milk. It was showing that God already had a project from eternity for men. So now this project is going to be fulfilled by the people, a people called the Jews. Jewish people, while they were still in Egypt, they were called the Hebrews. So God 
elected these people in order for for throughout the trajectory of these people there was always a prophetic um, message behind him when Abraham left the Mesopotamia he left not according to his own human reason but he left because he received a, f a call from God because God chose Abraham in order to to execute a project that was an eternal project because God is eternal and these people they spent 430 years in Egypt this story is well known of the brethren they even have movies about this story and while they were in Egypt they could no longer withstand the load of having to serve the Egypt it, the Egyptians because Pharaoh made them into slaves they had to obey the orders of Pharaoh they had to live in an environment of superstition and idolatry and all sorts of paganism of the kings that there that existed there and they stayed there they lived in that place they grew up because the people of God they multiply and there came a specific moment where they began to plead to the Lord Lord we can, can no withstand the situation anymore being slaves slaves to Pharaoh we can no longer withstand living in a, in a foreign land where they adore other gods we want Lord a place so that we can in freedom seek your face do your will and so God heard the plea of that people and now God rises up Moses Moses the one that was already there living in a palace Moses the Lord allowed him to be uh, raised as the uh, raised as the son of the door of Pharaoh so that he could learn the, the, all the martial teachings of war he learned all the culture of Egypt but God was preparing him so that he could guide the people and there came a moment in which God says he, God says this is the moment and God now sends the plagues upon the Egyptian people and uh, at the end the Lord was delivered from Pharaoh but that's the end of the story there, there are few that preach the following saved saved once save always Jesus saved me so now I'm saved forever God Jesus took me out of the claws of Pharaoh Jesus has already removed me from Egypt but we'll see here that 
that's not how it goes. Salvation is a process in our lives. Salvation is something that is dynamic in our lives. Because when they left Egypt, they had to walk. They had to walk. Because during the walk, we will end up, will eventually experience the power of God. It is during the walk, every day, we sh strengthen our faith in the Lord. If you're just static, if we stop, surely we will not have experiences. There are special experiences with the Lord. So the word says that when Pharaoh let the people go, God did not lead them on the road through the Philistine country. My brethren, God, He is not far away. God's ears, He has not closed in order for, him, for God not to hear us. God's hands are not God is, is not preventing from uh, blessing us with His hands. God has stretched arms to, to, towards us. God always has His ears inclined to the, to the voice of the just, to the voice of the one who pleased to the Lord, the voice of the sinner. Because there is a sinner, and also there is the unfaithful. The sinner is the one who sins because from the moment in which we left the Garden of Eden, we already sinned. Man is already in sin. David says that that we are we are not what we are born we are raised we are born in sin. But the sin is the one who recognizes his sins. He's the one who said, Lord, I'm a sinner, miserable, but I need your forgiveness. I need, Lord, that you, that you help in my weaknesses. Even Apostle Paul, Apostle Paul used to say, I'm a miserable man, a poor sinner. And the unfaithful is the one who practices the sins of the world, but a sinner is arrogant. He thinks that God doesn't exist. He thinks that God doesn't need to forgive him. And he continues in his incredulity. So the word says that God carry them. God didn't lead them to the path that, w that we would go through the land of the Philistines. Why? Why? Because God wanted to protect them. I'm not going to let my people go through this land of this fi the Philistine. Although this is the shortest way Sometimes we do not understand God's actions in our lives. Sometimes we question, Lord, but this is so easy for me. This path is so, so much easier for me. But the Lord says, that's not the way. This is not the path. But Lord, is this, you want me to go through the longest path? And then God says, yes, that's the path. 
The Lord was showing here tonight that there was a woman that received a map and she she had to go through through uh, several lands that she had never she had never seen before. And she she stayed on the way observing maps. There were moments, however, in which she had to stop in order to do a few calculations of angles, the position where she was, and she was going the direction that she was going to take. And she didn't do those calculations. She would say, I'm going to waste too much time here doing the calculations. According to my own reason, I already understand that that's the way. And she would go. But when she would end up uh, farther away, she would find herself lost. And then she would say, well, I'm, I'm lost, I'm completely lost. The map is not giving me any direction anymore. So then she would have to go back to the point where she didn't make the, the necessary calculations in order to find her bearings and take the path again, the right path again. And the Bible says that the, vi as she, the vision said that as she had to do this, go back, she would end up delaying her travel. And we understand that there are moments in which we need to stop and do a reflection, calculate, seek the Lord, seek a direction. Lord, has a, I have already arrived to this point, but how about now, from this point forward, how is it going to be? So the Lord is showing to this woman that she needs to be prudent and she needs to observe the map. Because if she observes the map and we understand that the word, a Bible, will help you to walk, walk with safety towards your target. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Never, by human reason, the Bible says, for God said, God no, not lead them on the road through the Philistine country, though that was shorter. So, through human reason, you may have thought that this solution, that was the solution. It was so short, so close. But now, you need to wait and wait for the direction from the Lord. Like the song that we just sang, no longer by our own reason, but by but by your word I will go. So the Bible says the following: For God said, if they face war, they might change their minds and return to Egypt. We have been called to walk. Walk forward, right? The Lord doesn't want any one of us to be lost. Even if the trials might come, the difficulties, the Lord doesn't want us to go back to Him. But if, by any chance, if we continue following the instruction of the Lord, war is not going to come to our lives. Because the Lord wants to deliver us from the wars, from the afflictions of this world. Because Jesus said, in the world 
you shall have afflictions. The verse 18 says, So God led the people around by the desert road toward the Red Sea. The Israelites went up out of Egypt ready for battle. So the Lord, the Lord has given to us, placed at our disposal, these spiritual weapons. The fasting, the early dawn service. It's difficult. Today we had an early dawn service. It's so difficult, isn't it? To overcome the tiredness. It's difficult. We're not saying here that it's easy. But the Lord, He hears our prayer. If you, in your bed, you wake up and say to the Lord, Lord, you know that I cannot go. You know that I'm going to have to live in just a few minutes to work. It's going to be difficult for me. But in your bed, the Lord will honor your prayer. And the brethren who are here early in the morning today, they prayed for those who didn't come. That's love. Because prayer is transfer of life. So the brethren who came here, they prayed, Lord, bless those who, who were not able to come. Why? Because we are living the last time. The Lord doesn't want anybody to be lost. God doesn't want anybody to return to Egypt. And give themselves, give up everything that they have conquered in the presence of the Lord. Can you imagine? You're on a race. You're running. And there are just a few meters, just a few feet for you to get across the, the finish line and then you trip and fall. It is very, it caused great anguish in the heart of the this athlete. He may think, oh, I was so close because uh, a careless moment I didn't see. I didn't use or the technique that I should have used at that moment. And then I tripped and fell. And, and so the, the Israelites went up out of Egypt. We need to seek the spiritual weapons to defeat our own ego, our flesh, the limits our spiritual life, the fights, the fights against our spirit, the, our flesh fights day and night. There's a war inside of us. There's a war in our minds. But we will over be victorious in this war with spiritual weapons. What the Lord has placed at our disposal. Jesus was won his war. His first battle was there in the desert where the, um, the devil introduced himself to him and offered him many things, tempt him. But the Lord Jesus used the Word of God. He Jesus used the Word of God in order to defeat the enemy of our souls. We need to use, my brethren, those weapons. We need to go, we need to go ready for battle with the spiritual weapons. We're going towards eternity and the Lord doesn't want any one of us to be lost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. May God bless us. Let us sing a song.
Glória a Jesus. Glória Because one day God took us away from Egypt. Because he heard our plea. He placed us on this path. And we have always had from the part of the Lord a direction. We just need to wait on the Lord. Moses said, Lord, if you are not with us, if you don't go with us, we're not going to go. But Jesus said, no, I'm going to send angels. No, God said, I'll send angels. But Moses said, no, I want your presence. Why? In order to allow you to rest. Because you, when you are under the direction of the Lord, your soul rests because your soul knows that it is walking on a safe path that it's going towards Jerusalem your soul knows that the lords are going to place on the land of the Philistine in order for you to perish to suffer no the Lord wants us to walk on the path of who is Jesus Hallelujah. That's what the Lord wants. Is it complicated? Sometimes it is. Because our flesh, our flesh wants another path. Our own ego, our human reason, wants another path. But Jesus, God, God the Father, He wants uh, what is best for us. The Lord also has shown in a vision that a woman... She came to the house of the Lord. And when she left, she was already outside. There was already somebody outside to uh, hit her with an arrow. And sometimes she was hit by an arrow. But tonight the Lord is pouring out Upon you, the oil of the Holy Spirit. It is put on armor on your body against the weapons of the enemy. That's how the Lord does. Invite the church to stand up. Let us finish the service. Lord, we, we praise you. We adore you, Lord. Because one day, you heard our plea. You took us away from Egypt, from the claws of Pharaoh. You gave us, Lord, a land where flows honey and milk, where we, we can hear a voice. Lord, we praise you. Because one day we'll be all in eternity. Bless Lord now that you received before you this service. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Amen. The church may be seated. I would like to say the peace of the Lord to everyone. Is for any reason you desire a prayer, remain where you are. Raise your hand. And we will be going towards you to pray for you and clarify what you may have not understood from the part of the Lord.
también se 